After months of repairing damage done by Hurricane Harvey, the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History reopened in May, but the winds of change continue to blow over at that museum. Chris Six News reporter Jane Caffrey is in our studio this evening with that story. Jen, by this October, the museum will be under new management. The current management company is not re-signing their contract to run the city-owned facility. They tell us their concern is that the city is cutting the museum's funding. Since 2012, the Museum of Science and History has been managed by Corpus Christi Museum Joint Venture, otherwise known as CCMJV. Its president is local businessman Bill Durrell. But a rep for the company says they're not renewing their contract because the terms of the deal are changing. The city previously gave the museum $1.3 million in annual funding. Now they're reducing that to $600,000. We were looking to reduce the burden to the general fund and asking the companies that were going to propose to do a little bit more fundraising, private funds uh, or grants to try to help with the city's budget. Two groups have submitted proposals to manage the museum. One is a Maryland-based company called Library Systems and Services. The other is the local group Friends of the Museum. The museum's former director, Carol Retmeyer, is part of that group. In April, they told the city council they wanted to take over museum management and were concerned about CCMJV's handling of money. It's really important that the entity that runs it is a not-for-profit with a truly philanthropic mindset that wants the funds to go completely back to the museum. But the rep for CCMJV has concerns, pointing out they laid off Retmeyer in 2016. CCMJV adds it's unrealistic to fundraise hundreds of thousands of dollars, adding it's a museum that preserves history, photos, and ancient artifacts. It's not a place that is necessarily meant to be a business, but the city is trying to treat it like a business. The city is currently reviewing the proposals from the two companies. Final approval on a contract is expected in late August. Lee.